I'll tell you what, guys. What is it with the Rocky and Creed movies that after you watch them, it makes you want to go to the gym? Like, I just feel like going to the gym and it's <laughs> like 9 p.m. at the moment. <laughs> Let's look into Creed 3. Come on, show the movie! Hey, down in front! Nine. By the way, guys, I've got a new setup here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, definitely, <laughs> I feel like it's a bit more attractive compared to my previous uh, setup in my previous uh, videos. So, this is pretty much going to be the future setup for a while now. So, Creed 3 is the third installment into the Creed uh, movies, but it's also like the ninth movie in the Rocky universe. So, uh, yep. <laughs> So basically in this story, Creed is uh, coming to retirement throughout this movie and pretty much a childhood friend named Dame Anderson is coming back into his life and they're pretty much kindling, they're starting to develop their friendship again and pretty much Dame just wants an opportunity to go for a title shot, but which isn't easy and then tensions start happening. Now with this movie, I have to say that Jonathan Majors, like, he was amazing as Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man, but in this movie, like, next level uh, acting from him, honestly, like, uh, Jonathan Majors as Dame Anderson in this movie is just absolutely a phenomenal performance, and a very interesting um, villain slash antagonist for, like, the Creed slash Rocky movies. See, here's the thing with the Creed and uh, Rocky movies like we've always had a lot of antagonists that were either rematches from previous movies or they were uh, up-and-comer fighters uh, that wanted a title shot straight away and also we get um, pretty much uh, like already established boxes in the universe which Rocky has to fight or Creed has to fight in this movie it to me it is the most and the first, like, very personal antagonist I've seen against uh, Adonis Creed in this movie, and I love that idea, and it was executed really amazing in this uh, movie, and honestly, just the tension between Michael B. Jordan's Adonis Creed and Jonathan Majors' uh, Dame Anderson in this one is just... Like, it's just such tension city in this movie. Now, to keep in mind, guys, this movie is actually Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut. And honestly, like, for a directorial debut for Michael B. Jordan, really well done. And honestly, like, it is a pretty decent movie that he has directed, especially for a big movie that's centered around the Rocky universe. And for this to be the third installment into the Creed um, spin-off movies, it is a pretty solid um, third entry into this series. Now with this uh, third entry into the Creed movies, like you do sort of get a bit of vibes of Creed, uh, Rocky 3 and Rocky 4 in this. Like you, you'll see what I mean without going into spoiler territory, but when you're watching it, you do get those sort of moments where you're like, oh, okay, well that's, similar to what happened in Creed, uh, sorry, Rocky 3, or this is, oh, that's similar to what happened in Rocky 4 or something like that, but it doesn't take away from the movie as well. And look, honestly, like, the, the Rocky slash Creed universe pays um, homage to uh, the previous movies as well and, you know, like, sets up for future installments in the movies uh, that are set in this universe. But apart from that as well, too, I love some of the other moments in this movie as well like for example like you know like Creed even though he's uh retired he's also a family man as well he's also a promoter and then when you start um seeing moments where he has to deal with um this uh unexpected moment where Dame just enters into his life and then like you just see a lot of tension building between the two characters and to me that's definitely the best thing that I've seen in this movie and from other, um, and also it just seems like this is just a very personal movie, especially when you consider watching other previous Rocky and Creed movies. Like, this is just, uh, you know, a character building movie where everything's just so personal in this movie. Now, look, obviously the biggest elephant in the room when it comes to this movie is, and everybody knows this without seeing Creed 3, is that Sylvester Stallone isn't involved in this movie. Now, even though he's not really involved in this movie, actually, I think uh, during the credits, I did see he's got an uh, exclusive producer credit. Like, he didn't want to be filmed in this movie, um, but it doesn't take you away from this story as well. In fact, 
I like it that Rocky isn't even in this movie either, because it just feels like, you know, just um, out of the other two Creed movies, like, sure, it seems that it's building up uh, for Adonis to have his own journey into these movies, but uh, Rocky is the guardian to pursue that. Where in Creed 3, you don't really necessarily need Rocky in this particular movie, especially the way that this story is told, because, like, Adonis is already established, you know, he's up to retirement now, you know, he's made tons of money from boxing, and he's got a happy life with, you know, a wife and a kid, you know, and he's just pretty much entering parenthood in this movie, and that's what I like about this, because it's like, you know, like, it just feels like, yeah, this is the movie where, okay, it's Adonis's journey now, and that he's pretty much okay to be on his own. So, I love that you don't necessarily need the main character of this universe to be in this movie. Now, overall with this movie, I love Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed. I love Jonathan Majors as Dame Anderson in this movie. And just the storyline between these two close friends turned rivals in this movie. And it is a very personal storyline, which I absolutely love in this movie. And to me, really stands out from uh, the previous Creed movies as well. Now, while I do like the first Creed movie, I didn't mind the second one. I feel like... This movie was definitely a bit of an improvement compared to the second one. Even though I didn't mind the second one, I feel like the third one is definitely much more of a stronger movie. And also, just the other um, storylines that were involved in this movie, I enjoyed. And for that, I feel like this is a movie that you guys will love. And it's a movie I feel like it's worthy of a rewatch. But what did you guys think of Creed 3? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow my socials up here as well. And as always, as I say at the end of these videos, get me some goddamn M&M's. Miss Hoover, the movie's over. Down in front!